in the moderation moderation concept we uh, we go ahead with uh, subroutine concept subroutine is something which is the part of uh, a program so we create a subroutine as a part of the program and then we make use of that in the program okay so we'll see how we do that and uh, for this we are going to go ahead with the same uh, sc38 program so so in sc38 i'm going to create a simple program now here so it's something like i'll give the program name as something like uh, i'll give it as zva zva underscore sub 10 and uh, yeah zva underscore sub 10 And click on create description I'll give it as something like subroutine demo subroutine demo and then type as you all know type we have to go ahead with executable program then click on save and if we have the package you can give a package so there was as of now i'm giving this on local object and here i'll go ahead with a program here i'll give a simple program like say data A of 10 type C A of 10 type C and then I'll go ahead with another field say B of 10 type C C of 10 in fact like you can also give it as numeric as well but i just want to show you uh, one more thing that even in character you can do the sub calculations so that's what we'll do now so we'll go ahead with, so we'll go ahead with b i'd like to do some simple calculation like c is equals to a plus B. Now you can say write the result result. Okay, so C is equals to A plus B, and then we'll say write. result C okay so here we have let's say we next we are going to do something like say C is equals to A into B is equals to a into b Fine. again i'm writing the same thing right result again result C. If you observe here, 
if you observe here whatever we have here in the 10th line and 14th line in 10th line 14th line whatever you have is common okay 10th line and 14th line the the, the, con, the code is common so instead of writing a simple piece of code which is common again and again what we do is we use the subroutines for that what we have to do is let me comment this uh, uh, write statements that we have done here let me comment this write statements and once we comment the write statements we have to go ahead and use the perform statement you have to write the perform statement perform perform something like uh, you can give it as something like out okay just i'm giving a simple word called out out uh, because it's output and give it as out okay now we need to double click on this out we need to double click on this out and do you want to create a subroutine say yes and in the main program so we need to select as main program and say okay okay so what what you observe here is that you have got a form here you have got a form and and um, so how did, how did we get that we actually double clicked on we actually double clicked on the perform statement and then we have got this so there is some text here at this point of time we'll just delete this because it's, it, there's there's a code here let's delete this because this is something which we don't need that Uh, basically this is, these are very important in the coming sessions but uh, at this point of time since we are not making use of it i just wanted to simplify this wanted to show you something which is uh, easy to understand so now what i'm doing is whatever code that we have here which we have commented i'll write it here means that write statement is there right so the write statement whatever we have here i'll write only once the write statement that we have here, I'll write only once. In the perform, in the form statement, within the form, done. So save this, and wherever we want that uh, this code to be executed, all that we have to do is we have to write perform, perform out. Now, why did I write out? Uh, because out is the statement uh, name of that subroutine so out so on the top also you have out so no matter how many times you want that piece of code in the in in, in your uh, existing program you can you can uh, call it and we can make use of it right this is what we have so for every perform statement we'll have the form statement and this form statement we have this uh, code so we have we have used a very simple one so that we can understand the concept of subroutines and in this again uh, we have a lot of input parameters output parameters these all things can be done just like we do it in the function models which we'll discuss in the coming uh, you know uh, scenario examples okay there's a very simple example for uh, for this uh, subroutine concept where we have the perform form and always remember for every perform statement there is man it is mandatory for us to have a form if you just normally write perform and you don't you don't actually create a form for it it will throw an error see let it let me uh, do the syntax check here and uh, let me also activate this So once it's been active, if you execute this, if you execute this, you have this result zero. Okay. Uh, the reason we are getting result zero is because we have not passed any values to the A and B. So let me actually quickly go ahead and pass some value or we can make it dynamic. So how do we make it dynamic? How do we go for, uh, you know, ad hoc basis? How can we store the data? We just copy this. And this A and B needs to be declared in the parameters. Okay. Here, 
we go for parameters in the parameters we will write this one okay so now uh, we have the parameters so that we can give it as an input now let's let's activate and execute again i think it's already active let's see okay let's execute this so when you execute it and give something like 10 and say 15 and execute You get two things result 25 result 150 one is multiplication one is addition so let's go back and uh, write it write a slash there in the output statement a write statement so that like it will be useful for us. so in the in the write statement i'll write this as slash Now save this. Syntax check. Activate. I'll give now something like 10 and then here 12 and execute. So you get 22 and 120. 22 happens to be the sum and uh, 120, is hap 120 happens to be the multiplication. Simple. Okay. So what we'll do right now is we'll go ahead and uh, know discuss few more subroutines which will be actually of uh, you know will have the import and export parameters changing parameters and all this stuff okay added the code here added the code in ababeducation.blogspot.com and this is the link in which you have to enter and here this is the one so you'll get a so you'll get this of title sap abab simple subroutine the, click on that and you have got this code that uh, we just now discussed okay if you like this concept please do subscribe to our channel and like do not forget to like the video and also share it with your friends it might help them as well thank you